is why
want to welcome all of you once again. You are welcome, feel at home. We're going to have a Bora dance from Please enjoy it. It's going to be performed by, by African, African drum beats artists. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Bulu University. Today is our 18th graduation at Bulu University, and we are very privileged today to have His Excellency the President and the visitor who is gracing our occasion. But most importantly, you'll be here to perform a very important function. That is the installation of our Chancellor, because we have gotten a new Chancellor, he appointed one, and also installation of the Vice-Chancellor, because our Vice-Chancellor has started a new So the chance by the visitor and thereafter our program will continue so we shall start our function by that it doesn't take long it doesn't take long they're just bits and pieces of formalities to follow and then we shall continue with our graduation so for now like i repeated earlier like i had said earlier please maintain peace and quiet Minimize unnecessary movement. Minimize unnecessary noise. Let us try and see that this function comes to its conclusion amicably and well decorated with your presence here as expected. To our parents, congratulations for taking care of our colleagues. And to our graduates, congratulations for finishing your studies. And here we are at the final end for this stage of the journey. And to our invited guests as well. I know we have different categories of guests here. Please feel free. The tents are clearly labeled. We do not want to come and move people here and there. So make sure you're seated at the right spot. Then we shall be expecting so many dignitaries here, especially when the visitor comes. So please let us maintain that solemnity. Our function has very strict protocol. So it is not any, like any other function where anybody will get up to come and speak. So we already have a lineup of who is going to say what and what time. So this is an academic function and we shall try as much as possible to speak to that program that you've been given. So that we leave and we start our enjoyment after here. So please, parents and graduates, maintain that solemnity okay for now we are waiting our guests are ready we're just waiting for the visitor and his team the procession will and i'll let you know the procession standing and the national anthems will be played and after the national anthem a prayer will be said and thereafter i will ask all of us to take our seat so stand up basically nothing but this in there will be this as well so ladies and gentlemen for now let us be calm I know they are still clearing others to come into the ground. Please, let's maintain that. I know you don't have your phones, so hopefully you may not disturb us by taking photos here and there. 
So that will be fine by me. So you, you wait and take your photos outside the green, the green fence, okay? You know when I say the green fence. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's just wait, and I will alert you on the next steps that will follow. Thank you very much.
Gentlemen, can we stand up? This is the Chancellor's procession.
Salon is not very much strong. Can you please come this side and take your seats? Please walk over. Just cross over. Yes. Follow the lady. She can direct you to where you're supposed to sit.
This remains Sunday for the Lord of Prayer. Let us pray. The loving and heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this day, especially for this function, the graduation of Guru University. I want to thank you for our chief guest who has already arrived. Excellent, the Vice President. We thank you for the University Administration, the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, the, the University staff, the parents and the graduates. We want to commit this day in your hands that it will be peaceful and uh, the celebration will go as guided by you. And we want to thank you that the students who are graduating we want to pray that they too will find something to do in the job market. We pray all this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you may take your seats. And the band and the choir, please, you can also go and take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, straight with the program, I would like to invite the Deputy Vice Chancellor. By the virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I constitute this assembly into a special congregation of Buri University. A round of applause, please. Section 30 of the Universities and Other Tertiary Institutions Act of 2001 as amended states that there shall be a chancellor for each public university who shall be appointed by the president on the recommendation of the University Council. The University Council at its 53rd meeting held on the 29th day of July 2022 under minute number 6 stroke GUC stroke 29 stroke 07 of the year 2022 recommended that Right Honorable Dr. Hakana Rigunda be appointed as the third chancellor of Kulu University. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the chairperson of the University Council inviting the chancellor's designate, and there is going to be a proclamation by the visitor to the effects that there is an appointment for a chancellor for Guru University. Madam Vista, there is a statement there to be read by the visitor.
The right honorable Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda, on the recommendation of the Gulu University Council, I appoint you as the Chancellor of Gulu University for a period of four years, effective the first day of November 2022. It is now my pleasure to present to you this congregation of Gulu University as the Chancellor of Gulu University with all the powers and responsibilities pertaining to this office. Round of applause, please. Right Honorable Dr. Akana Gunda, you have been appointed the Chancellor of Kulu University and entrusted with representing the vision, mission, and values of Kulu University. I therefore request you to publicly declare your acceptance of this appointment. I Dr. Rakana Gunda to accept the position of Chancellor of Guru University as prescribed by the Universities and Other Tertiary Institutions Act 2001 as amended. I express my commitment to this task and pledge to diligently execute the duties and responsibilities of the Chancellor of Guru University and uphold the vision, mission, and values of Guru University. By virtue of the authority invested in me by the University Council, I hereby confirm that Right Honorable Dr. Makana Rugunda has been duly appointed and installed as the third Chancellor of Guru University on this 24th day of February 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, our guests, the visitor, the vice president, is now robing and dressing our chancellor in his official gown, and he will be receiving his instruments of authority, assisted by the minister of education here, our line minister, the Honorable Dr. Joyce Caducho, and there is a cap, he has been robed, he's also going to receive the mess, bring the mess, because that is a symbol of authority. Can you bring the mess, please? And also there is the Universities and Other Tertiary Institutions Act, yes, that you hand over to him. That is the law that guides his attention of our university. And that is his instrument of appointment. That was the letter signed by the visitor. We have a copy sealed. Yes, that is his appointment letter. Thank you very much. <laughs> he's the third chancellor. He's the third chancellor of Guru University. And the miss, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Miss Bear, please receive it. You can raise it up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. Guru University has a chancellor. By the name, and there's a flag, of course, for Guru University. By the names of the Right Honorable Dr. Roakana Rugunda. Thank you very much. And 
But I'm Mr. Thank you for doing this noble act. Thank you very much. And I'm Mr. Thank you very much. Now you need to take him to his seat. Yes, first a photo moment, and then you take him to his seat. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Miss Bear can hold your mess. And yes, you can force him on his seat. <laughs> Okay. Ah, he's now seated. Thank you very much, Chancellor. Thank you very much, visitor. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Thank you with your team. Yeah, thank you. Mr. Madam Visitor. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You can now take your seats. Thank you very much. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the University Council, I hereby confirm that Right Honorable Dr. Hakan Gunda has been duly appointed and installed as the third chancellor of Gulu University on this day, 24th of, of February 2023. Congratulations. The Council at its 53rd meeting held on the 29th day of July 2022 under mint number 7 stroke GUC stroke 27 stroke 07 of 2022 recommended Professor George Ladar of Benjur to be reappointed as the Vice Chancellor of Gulu
Hello, hello. Thank you. Hello, hello.
Alors, please keep it on. The letter of appointment of the Vice Chancellor is fine. A photo moment. And a photo moment. That's the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, and the Chair of the University Council. Yes. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the University Council, I hereby confirm that Professor George Ladera, the Jew, has been duly appointed and installed as the Vice Chancellor of Guru University on this 24th day of February 2020. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. A big round of applause, please. Our visitor and Madam Minister, here we have our Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor. Proceed with our function of graduation created by the Chancellor. At this juncture, continuing with the program, very quickly allow me to invite the else one chairperson of this place to give us. A quick word in a minute. Also, watch your person, please quickly approach me. Can I ask the chance to watch your person quickly, please? As the Vice Chancellor gets ready to address us. But I'm yet at four. I'm here to go on and get down to the call. The JMC1, the boys, say, Mr. Joel, President, Vice President, Aluku, Alupo, Kiru Kituru, Iroma Papa, Ajuru, Aria Man. I'm here to go on and get down to the call. Vice President, Aluku, in appointing former Prime Minister Dr. Karadona Nekuru, Chairman Nekuru University, Apo Emetea. Give me a call to the Vice President, me, Wako, Upenju Mata, Mataro Vice Chancellor Nekuru University. I'm going to call to the Upenju, Pikitima Tech, when we begin to meet the very young, or where we are, we call the man who is the man. At our first meeting, we call the man who is 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 the man. Chawani eni, wele duchu magubiru, iyumwan magu aakipe yu makabiru mapakpa. Ie yom tutuwa, tu lopman, we okeli machalo kitich kipotu, ni wafuyu hu, machalo dit president mimi yini wa aria, i university kain, ento nyega wa makini, wa chukimu, i forest worker kain, Wamiruki yumi wa oriat matit makonyo Yeni numbers padana mawachikele University Ki community magatang Deep loe 
Thank you, Mercy. Sons of the way and the other to support. Continue with the program. Thank you, Vice, the Vice Chancellor, to address the congregation. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda and visitor of Bulu University, here represented by uh, Mr. Dr. Lupo, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda. Uh, the Speaker of Parliament in absentia is Lord Lord the Chief Justice. The, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, the First Lady and Honorable Minister of Education and Sports, Majene Tataha City, here represented by Dr. Moriko, Joyce Moriko Kaduchi. The ministers and state ministers present, particularly Honorable Kyrie Saram. Uh, the Chancellor of Kulu University, the Right Honorable Dr. Ruakana Rugunda. The Chancellor Emeritus, Professor Fred Kiyanabatubanokayanja, all Honorable Members of the Party, two excellencies, the Ambassadors, Night Commissions, all religious leaders present, uh, the representative of his highness, Mr. His Lordship, the Mayor of the City, the Disabasin President, the Resident District Commissioner, the Chairperson and Members of Kulu University Council, the Chairperson and Members of Councils of other Universities present, my colleagues, the Vice Chancellors from other sister universities present, my colleagues, uh, Senate, Management and Academic Staff of Kulu University, the non teaching staff members of Kulu University, all parents and the sponsors of our graduates, the students of Kulu University, all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, I take this opportunity to welcome all of you invited guests to welcome you on behalf of Kulu University Council, Kulu University Senate, Management, Street staff and students of Gulu University to welcome you to this 18th uh, graduation ceremony of Gulu University. You will recall that Gulu University started in 2003 by a proclamation of parliament by Act of Statutory Instrument number 31, parliament, and it is now 20 years old and it is doing the 18th graduation. Uh, I forgot to recognize the president of the executive director, National Council for Education, my apologies there. He's present last year in person. Uh, since that time, this foundation, I would like to say, Gulu University has experienced a positive transformation of the community and sustenance of the environment conducted through quality research and training. We were founded largely as an agricultural university and we have made it such uh, with all our faculties. We have qualified a number of graduates uh, from this university. The number is going up to 15,000. And today, we are adding uh, a total population of 1,270 graduates to the job market. Kulu University has experienced major achievements. 
In the Human Resource and Staff Development Department, over the years, we have trained a number of staff at PhD and master's level. We have appointed new staff, the senior ones, including uh, the vice chancellor, the deputy vice chancellor, the university secretary, the academic registrar, and the university bursars. Most of these have just got either their contract renewed or uh, they have got fresh appointments. Uh, the statistics of the staff train are provided at about 165 with 66 PhDs, uh, 53 being males and 13 female, and then those doing master's degree are 99, 49 being female and 50 male. You can see that at the master's degree level, it's almost at 50, 50 percent. Uh, we would like to thank uh, government support, especially the Higher Education Science and Technology Project and the Ministry of Education for most of the staff training. We have filled positions on the staff establishment, which grew from less than 100 in 2004 to 540 by the end of the year 2021-2022. We have developed Human Resource Manual to guide our framework. We have sponsored and waived, as I've said, a lot of staff fees, the ones who undertake their studies within the university. 118 staff, 110 uh, for their masters and PhDs respectively. We have waived tuition fee for approximately 50 staff over the last five years, including that of their children and dependent. We have committees that govern the conduct of the university. Employee benefit is quite good. Additionally, at this 48th meeting on October 2020, 20, the fourth council restructured the university staff establishment. We are now going to have a new structure with improved payroll and a lot of for the staff. This pay stops at 15. I believe the staff understands when we say stopping at 15. And at peak now, the Human Resource Department staff are with the Ministry of Public Service trying to follow this up. Uh, we have continued to grow from strength to strength in our university training programs. Right now, we have a student population of 4,678. It fluctuates between 4,500 to 5,000. Uh, that has been consistent over the last five years. We thank the government for the automation of the business process in the Department of the Academic Registrar, called the ACMIS. We also thank for the automation of the financial management process, called IFMIS. Very important research have continued to be done. Uh, many academic policies have been developed by Senate and approved by Council. Uh, the university has been visited by regulatory authorities, uh, including the National Council for Higher Education, the Joint East African Medical Council, Medical and Dental Practitioners Council, the Uganda Medical and Dental Council, the Allied Health Professional to ensure that our teaching quality uh, is up to date. We are going to support that process. Already we have established the Directorate of Quality Assurance to continue keeping us on the quality path. The regulations of qualification and eligibility for admissions to Gulu University the programs leading to degrees, diplomas, have been approved by Senate and National Council. The low graduates are doing well. The low 
students are the best in Africa, both during the training process and even in our performance at the last forum meeting in Harare. They are entrepreneurs, noted and recognized entrepreneurs in Africa. The university has attracted more international students uh, across the world, including countries like Cameroon, Costa Rica, Zimbabwe, and other European uh, uh, universities for short study trip ranging from two to three months. To offer a client with a long, uh, a, a, a wide range of options for study and increase students' enrollment, we have developed several academic programs over the years. <clears throat> so far, we have developed 20 new programs starting from PhD uh, to certificates. This certificate program was approved and mounted to enable access to higher education. They call it the Higher Education Access Certificates. We thank FAUPE, the part of the Higher Education Access Programs. They enable students who have not performed well to join the university after passing through that programs. Uh, a bit of details on that program, which we want to popularize, includes certificate program in English language and literature in English, certificate program in biology and chemistry, certificate program in biology and agriculture, and certificate program in physics and mathematics. You will note that all these are largely science programs. They can join any science programs in this university. Uh, you Excellency and all invited guests, Kulu University has done well in its budget performance in 2022-2023. During the period, we received funds from central government with a reasonable improvement. For example, the subvention in Moroto improved from 2 billion to 8.5 billion. There is also an increase in financial resources through various projects. We have the MasterCard project, the Roof Forum, under the MasterCard, we have the Target project, the Tessia. These projects, we get what we call of budget support. Our internet bundles have improved through Reno, will help us to run e-learning programs and increase our enrollment. Contributions of Gulu University to community through modern agricultural practice have continued. We, 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 we are planning to open a model farm where all the community members can come and learn new practices. So, and this will strengthen the foundation of Gulu University and the epicenter of our efforts to community socioeconomic transformation. To make this foundation meaningful to economic development, economic transformation to the ordinary population. We want to make these changes real in the life of the people, change the mindset of agriculture, develop ag agri-entrepreneurship, and develop unique model of agricultural education that we are championing in this uh, uh, through our cooperation with the Regional Universities Forum for Capacity Building uh, Agriculture. <clears throat> now, we have a new director, Professor Dipala retired, uh, we have a new director, Professor Patrick Ukori, who has taken over. And we will continue relating with them in the improvement of agricultural training in Uganda and agricultural training <coughs> across other faculties. The strategic plan uh, aligned with the National Development Plan 3, and we identified several areas of focus. This includes teaching and learning, research and publication, community engagement, infrastructure development, human resource development, information communication, 
technology, library and information service, and financial resources. We have, even in the cross-cutting issues, uh, cross-cutting issues, we have policies, administrations, welfare, including for the minority groups and people with disability. The university has drawn a master plan for the whole of our campuses, especially what we call the forest campus, the forest land, which is this particular land, the main campus, which is uh, across the other side, the institute, the IPSS, uh, for the Peje campus, uh, and the Dr. Lequia Matthew Road, uh, which is opposite the hospital. Uh, we have developed a complete plan that ran up to year 2070. Inshallah, you will see those developments. However, the above, the approval of the master plan is awaiting the conclusion of the Gazette now, uh, which will enable the university to own the land and fulfill one of the requirements for the city council for the approval of plan. Uh, colleagues, as far as the Gazette is concerned, I know we'll talk about it again, you need to get a round of to now up Salah. The right honorable Ruaka Narugunda. Can you give a round of clap? He supported the president's promise by writing to parliament. He wrote the letter himself by writing to parliament to express writing to the speaker of parliament to process the Gazette as quick as it is. But that is not why he is the chancellor of the university. He is the chancellor on his own merit not for that letter. Our infrastructure development has continued. We have new buildings. We have the one for the ADP, the Multifunctional Science Laboratory, the Faculty of Agriculture, which is behind there, the library where most of you are parking, and the Business Incubation Center, which is next door. We are in our new, in this new building, we are running the services, and I think we are continuing to test people at an average rate of 1,000 per month. Even those who are going to, uh, for the memory of St. John and Loom, who are being tested here. And I think over the last two days, they have been very busy because the president is around. Uh, the government has approved this laboratory at a level which runs close to the one for Ministry of Health, the Uganda Virus Research Institute, and this the Center for Disease Control for international standard. We can handle many other infraction diseases beyond COVID-19. We have a highly equipped laboratory for which we shall continue to be proud. The Business Incubation Center and the Cassava Processing Value Chain will continue to be developed. Unfortunately, COVID-19 uh, halted the, the factory from working as we expected. The central teaching facility we are developing, and this may be sitting about 6,000 students. It is in that body section behind uh, this ground. Uh, we, we estimate that this is a multi-year project, and we will continue to get government to finance. The university requires about 20 billion to complete this project. Management successfully procured, we have the local council one is talking of transport. We have an ambulance. Maybe she's not yet aware of that. Which is also used by the community uh, around the emergency situation that we cannot manage in our hospital. We can refer them to the CHO or to the regional refer, even to Kampala, we have done that. Other infrastructure development is upgrading the internal roads. We, we did that over the years, over the last five years when I was uh, the vice chancellor. I, I actually fulfilled almost all my commitment, uh, uh, which I did at that time, including the fencing, the tarmacking of the roadways, the paving of the walkways, installation of solar lights, CCTV camera, uh, purchase of the gill van, uh, acquisition of land titles for almost all our land, except this one. That was successfully done. We have improved our information communication technology. We are now going to start the department of Odell so that we can start running online programs. 
uh, which will be attended by students from all over Uganda and including those outside Uganda. The university has already conducted notable innovation in the area of uh, COVID-19, covid -less. I think you are aware of that. We have EduRom, we have uh, in the Department of Clinical Chemistry. These are equal operational to train medical students to support the regional referral hospital. Uh, covid can be used for treating even other respiratory tract infection, not only COVID-19. Uh, Faculty of Medicine in partnership with foreign universities has set up the, the Center of Excellence for Herbal Medicine uh, in, uh, at Guru uh, University here. We also have what we call the Integral Center for Wealth Creation and Wealth Management and Ethics set up by Professor John Opio. And the goal of the center is to mainstream government and global concern with wealth creation uh, and ensure transformation of the community and the nation at large. The constituent college has continued to develop uh, at an enormous rate. Uh, the His Excellency directed us to start a constituent college in Morocco. We did that. Uh, we have completed the master plan, the strategic plan. We have titled the land. We have architectural drawing for the buildings. And we are running, we are going to start running some programs uh, after the acquisition of Kutiru Koa BTC. Uh, the, the district executive committee <coughs> and the district council have approved our acquisition of that facility. And we are going to start using them for educational programs and programs for upgrading of both teachers and politicians who have already been given a few times. The, 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 the local government workers at the lower level, they are also supposed to acquire the police. The Faculty of Agriculture is working with AgroMax to develop for the development partner and others to set up and implement the EIT curriculum and skills training for youth and farmers and women in Karamoja to enhance employability in those areas. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, Although the university is not residential, student accommodation in gazetted hostels are being well managed. Guidance and counseling unit is supporting students. Both students and staff use the well-maintained and fancy game sport ground where we are here. We keep planting grass here, but it keeps growing back. No, not growing back, dying away because of the heat and because of the intense use of the compound. So this is where we do our games. The gay leadership is represented in council and various committees. Both students are represented in all, at all levels of uh, university management and governance. The above involvement of staff and students in the management of the university has led no strike. Um, is a no internal by staff or students for the last five years. I think that tradition has been forgotten. A bit of shouting here and there, which students do, but even that is gone. And I don't think they will come back. We will always cooperate and understand one another in executing the work of the university. We have a number of policies approved. I'm not going to go down those lists, but they include gender undergraduate admission policies, human resource manual, <coughs> sponsorship, guidelines for the election, graduate student supervision, e-learning policies, you know, commercial policies, endowment fund policies. All these policies are in place. The policies are expected to guide and streamline our operations as a university. Fawi, since 2016, Uganda partnered with the uh, Uganda partnered with Guru University to implement the Higher Education Access Program with the funding from the Mastercard. 
and the social initiative to educate girls. Out of the 110, 72 female and 32 male students supported at Guru University. 55 students have so far graduated with degrees. 44 students, 33 female and 9 male students are graduating today. Let us give a clap to Power for that level of support. The HIP the HEC program is going on. I have already talked about that at length. Uh, it is to enable access. And the students are also joining. This is a pretty program. So 95 students, 54 female and 41 male. <coughs> students were enrolled on the new program. 62 registered and trusted in the non degree programs. It is a very, uh, it's another route for joining the university in addition to the traditional direct entry, diploma entry, and mature entry. Uh, the higher education access certificate is also. Uh, we have a few challenges, Your Excellency. Guru University, just like other institutions and organizations, has faced several challenges and problems since its inception. Uh, a good number of these challenges and problems have been uh, handled on a case-by-case -case basis, and we continue to deal with them, uh, together with council, staff, students, and the ministry, uh, including parliament. The first one is underfunding of capital development. I think this was distorted by two years of COVID-19. I would always like to repeat that, unlike Muni, unlike Soroti, Bulu University did not start with infrastructure development. It just started on rented facilities. And because we are now an old university, government tend to think that we are okay. Actually, we are not okay. If higher education, act, uh, the, 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 the highest program did not help us, we would still just be having the district farm institute building, for which we thank the district. So we need government to support our to give us capital development for the development of infrastructure. Our population is too big for the current buildings that we are having. If you go to the main campus, you will find that we are using tents running our program. But nonetheless, the quality of our students is very good. We normally give them a one on one attention. So we need to review our capital development budget, and we really request the Minister of Finance not to keep cutting, because for example, in the last financial year, we had a capital development budget of 11.4 billion. It was cut down 1.67 billion. We are still crying for that money because the building is stuck, the contractors have left. Uh, this cut money we hope to be given back to supplementary. The suppression of the non-weight budget by 49% is affecting operations and the fulfillment of contract obligation. Zero release under, under the development component in quarter two and quarter three is hurting us uh, fundamentally. Your, your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to report that through a concerted effort, the key stakeholders, we University Capital Development, will continue to be added in the budget, although the cuts are affecting us. The, the low human resource and staff development, our staffing capacity has remained at 22%. So we are almost like 78% below service supplement. Even if the Ministry of Public Service is going to be approve a new establishment, it is still not yet filled because of low wage. We are paying the government to increase our wage, at least 50% of the staffing establishment, so that we can conduct the service of government better. The COVID-19 disruption, I think we have not yet recovered from that time. It has affected government, and it is also affecting us. It has also affected our running of the semester. But we are recovering slowly. The semester is still not yet running according to how it should. But we will recover uh, slowly. The COVID-19 pandemic 
task force did a good job. We commend them to that, uh, for that job. To the graduates, the graduates, you are now being released to the world of work. Now you are going to be on your own. I believe the ceremonies that your parents are going to give you today is to tell you goodbye. You should start finding your own level. I just hope you prepare you well enough to fend for yourself because you're supposed to look at the world and use the knowledge you have acquired to mass to live on your own. However, these factors alone cannot lead to development without the key ingredient of the people's commitment. Whereas you are going to live on your own, <clears throat> you must support the communities from where you are coming. You must continue to uphold our motto of community transformation. I congratulate you once again uh, for your distinguished achievement in your lifetime. I hope you will continue to love and espouse the university uh, where you have built your career as a pastor. We now release you to go and support and be transformative leaders in your homes, in your villages, in your region, in Uganda, in Africa, and in the world at large. I know we have our students working in Yemen, they are working in Afghanistan, some are working in West Africa, some are working in the UN. They normally greet me very happy when they meet me. Continue, I want to get that feedback. To the parents and the sponsors, we thank you so much. Uh, for the support we have given to the brethren. We would like to appreciate all those who have supported Guru University. We appreciate His Excellency the President. We communicate our gratitude. He has always been very generous to us. We, we, we know it's because tight commitment. Otherwise, he should be the one with us here. Uh, but we fully endorse that they are sent a very capable representative because without you coming, your excellency, the vice president, we will not be having chancellor and this graduation and not legally proceed. We really thank you for coming, even if they told you this morning. We thank you for still remaining a soldier. Can you give a clap to Dr. Alifu? He seems so, she is herself. Of another university. That's uh, we thank the president for extending, you no, know, we request uh, supporting the request that I made for the teaching hospital and the Digazette. And we thank the president for the 100 million again. The staff are already enjoying this in the staff circle. <coughs> staff circle is called Usaku. Uh, we further thank the president. Yeah, we sincerely thank the deputy speaker, the late speaker, for breaking the ground uh, for building the new block, uh, which is being supported by government. Uh, the university would like to thank, in a unique way, the Minister of Public Service for the formulation and implementation of policies on human resource management in the public service sustenance management and oversee uh, systems, procedures and structures. And we hope this will help us to streamline the management of human resources across universities. We still have challenges uh, because there are so many public universities with different systems. This is being unified under the ministry. We thank them so much for that. Uh, as the university management, we thank the council, we thank Senate members, staff, students, and the local leaders for the cooperation given during the period. Sincerely, we have achieved a lot for the university due to support. And it's our prayers that the university continues to rise and to shine, to greatness and ranking nationally and internationally. I say all this for community transformation and for God in my country. I wish you success with God. Uh, 
It's a lot of honor I would like to invite each other. Asso, come and give our remarks. Chancellor and the Senate, Management, Academic, and all staff of Bull University, our dear parents, benefactors, well wishers, beloved graduates, continued students, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the University Governing Council, I warmly welcome your Excellency representing the President and dear Vista and the representative of the First Lady and Minister of Education and Schools. I also welcome all our invited guests in your various capacities to go to university to this special occasion. I also welcome in a special way the third Chancellor of Guru University, Right Honorable Dr. Makana Buda, and the Chancellor Emeritus Professor Frederick and Ian Kalinj, who was our second chancellor. On behalf of the university, I thank Your Excellency for appointing and installing Right Honorable Rakan al as chancellor of our great institution. I thank you for accepting, Mr. Chancellor Sir. I thank you for accepting to be a titular leader of Guru University and I congratulate you upon your appointment and restoration, which the congregation gathered here has just witnessed and to wish you a spirit filled and successful term of office and service. I also take this opportunity to express our proper gratitude to Chancellor Emeritus, Professor Frederick Kayanja, the second Chancellor of Guru University, for the last eight years of exemplary and unforgettable leadership, not only as a titular head of Guru University, but as an academician, teacher, friend, and parent, who oftentimes employed his military and intelligence skills to ensure sanity, peace, and security of everyone and every property in the university at all times. Professor Khan, with pleasure, your British military training and indeed your big achievement as Colonel in the British Army. His ears were always and will continue to be on the ground as he has assured us of his continued support as a friend of the university, especially in the Faculty of Medicine. Professor Karen, we thank you for the love you have for the cause of education and everyone's well-being. Your personality and experience will continue to be treasured. I also congratulate the Vice Chancellor, Professor George Lada Benjo, upon your reappointment and installation to the service of the university in that important office for a second term of office. I wish to appreciate you 
your excellency and the Anam government for your vision to establish a public university in each of the 18 zones of Uganda, which were present at the time of independence. And Guru became the first beneficiary of this initiative. Your Excellency, on behalf of Guru University Council, we would like to thank you for the Guru University staff data, capital shillings 100 million, and the directive how part of the Guru Central Forest Reserve gazetted and given to the university for expansion in exchange with alternative land in Moya district. We also thank you personally for directing and paging to have the teaching hospital built at Guru University. Your Excellency, we thank you for your directive to establish a constitute the Constitute College of Agriculture in Karamoja sub-region, where Guru University has been tasked with a role by the Ministry of Education and Sports. Currently, Your Excellency, 462.88 acres out of the 786.41 acres earmarked for the college have been acquired following compensation of the project affected persons. And this process is still ongoing. Also, Your Excellency, designs for a multi-purpose building are under preparation following the enhancement of the budget for this project from 2 billion to 8.5 billion shillings this financial year 2022-2023. I also wish to appreciate you uh, we wish to appreciate the Minister of the Minister for, of Education and Sports and all the Minister officials for the support of government which we receive through the Ministry and other ministries, departments and agencies, civil society organizations, the alumni and the community that have extended enormous support to the university under the stewardship of, Fred, of Professor Frederick Kayanja in this infrastructure development, research, policy development, particularly under the ADB SA, a project, a project that led to the construction of the Faculty of Agriculture and the Environment Law, the multifunctional science research laboratory, the laboratory law, and the business intervention and cassava processing plant. These interventions enhance the university's ICT infrastructure, academic and administrative staff capacity, research, innovation, students, as council strongly believe, the new chancellor will steer our university to better heights. And those children are not here with us, but their donations and institutions. By the grace of God, that you sit in hard work on the cause of your education. They will set the qualities of character and mind to achieve this. On behalf of Council, the Congress upon the achievement, which is a clear manifestation of high sense of responsibility and love of self, love of work and family, and above all, improvement of self. As educationists, we feel the sky is the limit. With focus and determination, we can make bigger strides to achieve more in the world of academia and indeed in the world of work and service. We thank you, your parents, guardians, benefactors, and sponsors for choosing Guru University as your partner in the noble task of your education. We are deeply touched and humbled by the confidence you had in us. The gates of our great institution will remain wide open for your future educational needs. 
He sent you out with God's blessings to obey God's commandments and to abide by the laws of our great nation. Do not conform to the ungodly standards of the changing world, but choose the righteous path. Stand, you stand better opportunities to change the world by creating a better future for yourselves, your families, your communities, and country, our country. You can know. look at the past with gratitude, the present with enthusiasm, and the future with optimism. There is a lot more for you to achieve. Today marks a new beginning. Congratulations to each one of you. The entire administration and academic staff of Guru University, our dear parents and guardians, and all service providers who contribute to the education and well being of, of everyone in the university. Mr. Chancellor Sir, once again, you are welcome to Guru University. We pledge our total support and commitment to serving the university together with you and the newly installed Vice Chancellor. Professor Benjo. Your Excellency, uh, the representative of the First Lady and Minister of Education and Sports, and all ministers present, we thank you for gracing this important occasion with your presence, which marks a great start for our new Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor and graduation of our students in various disciplines. Your Excellency, we owe you for community transformation for God and my country. Thank you for listening. Take this opportunity and great honor to invite the Vice Chancellor Emeritus, Professor Frederick Ian Bantuna, Kayanja, to address the congregation. Thank you, sir. Your, your Excellency, Honorable Alupo, Honorable Dr. Haduchu, all protocol observed. I need to be surgical free. Your Excellency, yes, President of the Department of Home Youth Through you, Madam Alupo, hey, you want to, I would like to thank to the, our boss for giving me the opportunity to serve Guru University as the second yeah. chancellor. Yeah. Mm. I thank him for that opportunity. I would also wish to congratulate the Honorable Ruhakana Rugunda, who have been appointed and today installed by you as the third Chancellor of the University. I would like to assure him that he has a good team of Guru University to work with. Your Excellency, eight years ago, I took him to this. I worked with various ministries, organizations, and university organs. I would like to thank the Minister of Education and Books under the current leadership of the first lady, whenever I have knocked on her door, I have been well received. The same applies to you, Madame Alupo. Thank you for the support. I'm sure the person who has come after me will get the same support. In February 2017, I invited and introduced to Gulu University Professor Neil 
James Scolding, a neuroscientist, he's a neurologist. And this was also with Dr. Charlotte Hardy Scolding. a consultant in emergency medicine. Both are from the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom. I thank the university management for ac accepting to appoint these senior doctors as visiting professors. It is pleasing to note an impressive collaboration de developed between the University of Bristol and Guru University. I would like to encourage you, my colleague and brother, Dr. Lukunda, to sustain this relationship. These individuals are my colleagues in the United Kingdom. My tenure management implemented under ADPS program the construction of has been said. I would like you sir, Mr. Chancellor, to continue encouraging them that this is the way to go, not to rent, but to your own structures for your students. Following your directive during the 15th graduation, your excellency management started the process of decadentment of the Gulu Central Forest for the expansion of the university. This has been already reported by the Vice Chancellor. I would like to encourage the institution and the government to work together to ensure that this is proved to a complete, conclusive ending. In 2017, you directed Guru University to establish a constituent college of agriculture in Moroto, Karamoja region. I have already discussed this development with you, Mr. Chancellor. If you need any help from me, I will give you freedom. Because I partly I'm in full support of this event. Your Excellency, allow me to commend my long-term friend, Professor George Ladapo Pendu, who has also been in so today. Thank you for being a dedicated servant for three years and with your chancellor. The right honorable of Dr. Hapana Rubunda is a wonderful friend of mine. And he will help you, but you have to go to him to secure that help. To the parents, graduates, and all benefactors, thank you for dedicating resources for educating today's graduates. May the Lord reward you abundantly for your sacrifices. Finally, to the dear graduates, congratulations on your academic achievement. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be happy in all. Thank you for God and my country. Your Excellency, the Vice President, please allow me to offer Professor Kayanja a token of gratitude from 
Guru University for the great work done as we wish him all God's blessings for the future to come. Thank you very much, Professor Ayanja, the Abun Chancellor of University, for a good and surgically brief statement. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda and the Visitor of Abun University, here represented by Her Excellency, the Vice President, uh, Major. Uh, Honorable Joyce Kaduchu, Ms. of State for Education, representing the First Lady, and Honorable Minister of Education and Sports. My friend, Honorable Henry of Yem, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, other ministers who may be here and members of parliament, Professor Nene Okapo, the Director of the National Council for Higher Education, traditional leaders, religious leaders, former Chancellor of Guru University, the Vice Chancellor of Guru University, and Chancellors of other universities, invited graduate students, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency, I would like to welcome you to Guru University on this graduation day and thank you. For endorsing the recommendation of Guru University Council and appointing me the third chancellor of Guru University. Your personal presence through your excellence, the Vice President, is a demonstration of your continued commitment to higher education in this country and to Guru University in particular. I accept the responsibility of Chancellor of Guru University 
I do so with the gratitude and commitment to build on the firm foundation of my predecessors in order to contribute to the growth and impact of this institution to national development. Your Excellency, you have given the leadership as led to the expansion of access to education, the introduction of UPE, USE, and establishment of public universities like Ikuru University has democratized education, expanded research, and produced graduates that are making a significant contribution in the building of our country. For that, Your Excellency, we thank you. I would also like to thank the Ministry of Education and Sports and salute the First Lady and Honorable Minister of Education and Sports for the good leadership she has continued to provide to our education sector. Your Excellency, Guru University, as the first public university in Northern Uganda, has played a significant role in the transformation of this region. The establishment of Guru University as a public university financed by the state is one of the affirmative action undertakings by the general government that has made Guru a center of attraction for researchers and also for investors. I would like to thank my predecessor, Professor Frederick Kayanja, for the great work he has done during his eight-year tenure as Chancellor. Professor Kayanja, I'm glad I'm addressing you directly. We will build on your achievements and on the foundation that you have laid in order to collectively take full university to greater heights. Taking Guru University to where we want it to be is going to be a collective effort. It will require all the stakeholders to raise the bar of our ambitions and make Guru University a center of excellence in teaching and in research. However, we need to do more in ensuring that the university is connected to the community so that the people in the region and the nation at large see, feel, and experience the products of this university. Your Excellency, Guru University, like many other institutions of higher learning, was affected by COVID-19, as very well uh, articulated by the Vice Chancellor. Fortunately, it is now emerging from that situation with renewed vigor and without going uh, chancellor in the strategic plan with the key medium term strategies that have been set. The focus on science, technology, innovation, engineering, medicine, pharmacy, and agriculture is consistent with Vision 2040 and also with Third National Development Plan and with the NRM Manifesto. These are critical areas for driving socioeconomic development by providing solutions to the major challenges faced by 
our people. Your Excellency, Guru University started 2002 and opened the gates to learners in 2003. Under your able leadership through the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, the government has always extended the needed financial support for which we are grateful. Your Excellency, I have been informed that the university is undertaking major infrastructure development of a business and development center and central teaching facility expected cost 33 billion shillings. Once completed, the facility will accommodate an additional 5,000 students. However, due to shortfalls in the capital development budget in the current and the previous financial years, the construction of the facility has stalled. We will appreciate your support and intervention in this matter enable the university to complete this important facility. And I must here say that we are particularly delighted that High Excellency the Vice President is one representing His Excellency the President because High Excellency the Vice President is very familiar with issues of higher education and education in general since she spent some time doing good work as Minister of Education. So this is going to be a combined effort by both High Excellency Vice President and His Excellency President to endeavor to support Guru University in this endeavor. We will appreciate your support and intervention to complete this important Finally, Your Excellency, I commend the parents, guardians, teaching staff, and non teaching staff for playing their roles in support of the students to achieve their goal of graduating today. I congratulate the graduates for this great achievement in your lives. We look forward to benefiting from the knowledge which you have gained and the country is counting on you to take Uganda and Africa to greater heights. I say this for God and my country. Thank you. It's now my great pleasure to invite a great supporter of Guru University, Honorable Minister Joyce Kabriju, to make her remarks. Parliament President, are just the Chancellor of Gulu University, 
the outgoing chancellor of Bolo University, the chairperson and the city council, the vice chancellor of Bolo University and all the staff members, vice chancellor of other sister universities present here, all district leaders, parents, guardians, sponsors, uh, dear graduates, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joyce Kukaduchu, the Minister of State for Primary Education. I've been delegated by the Minister of Education. She sent me with a message, Your Excellency, Allow me to convey a very warm cordial greeting from Mama Janet. She's not in position to be with us due to other state duties. Kindly receive her warm greetings. Excellency Chaset. But before I deliver, the message of Mama on today's occasion. Permit me to perform two duties, Your Excellency. One, to introduce the delegate and the dignitaries present here. Two, to say two points on my own behalf as a former member of staff of Bulu University. Your Excellency, with us, we have colleague ministers, Honorable Henry Oriem, the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, is with us, but he has briefly stepped out. Excellency, Mr. Chancellor, sir, with members of parliament who are here with us, I wish the to stand up for recognition. Is here with us. Honorable Wokorat Simon is here with us. Honorable Achan Judith Peace is here with us. We talk of the first university at Chora and City. Yes, Excellency, Mr. Chancellor, sir. We also have the representative of the Paramount Chief of Acholi. Please stand up for recognition. Thank you for being here. Your Excellency, we have the religious leaders. Our religious leaders are here with us. We recognize their presence and thank you for joining us on this occasion. We also have the resident district commissioners who are here with us. We have the mayor of Gulu City, the SC5 political leaders, thank you for joining with us. Importantly, Your Excellency, we've got the parents and the graduates who are here with us. Thank you for joining us on this very important occasion. Your Excellency, on my own behalf, as a former member of staff of Bulu University, Permit me to congratulate the entire university fraternity for this colorful celebration, where we've just seen the installation of the chancellor and we are to graduate over 1,000 graduates. Specifically, I want to thank my former teacher, my former vice chancellor of Barara University, and now the outgoing chancellor of Bulu University, Professor Frederick Kayakinja. Thank you so much. We are proud of you. We are proud of the service you have rendered to the nation, and we continue to pray to God to restore your health, to give you health in mind and body. Your Excellency, Mr. Chancellor, sir, on this note, I also want to take the opportunity to thank the Vice Chancellor of Bulu University, Professor George Openjuru, and the entire university fraternity. 
as a former member of staff of this university, I will continue always to associate with Gulu University and raise the flag of Gulu University high up. Thank you. Your Excellency, my second point is that Gulu is established for community transformation majorly. I want to thank the Vice Chancellor for standing up for community transformation to transform our people. Now is to transform our household from poverty, transform our people to embrace wealth creation, transform our to embrace investment, especially investment in education. Chancellor, university body, in body, for a culture of dialogue and peaceful resolution of conflict. I want to thank you for upholding that culture as opposed to strikes and violence. You have been shown to the nation that Ulu University is an institution of higher learning that uses intellectual capability to resolve conflict. Keep it up and thank you. Your Excellency, as I read and deliver the message of Hama, allow me also to recognize the Executive Director of National Council for Higher Education, Professor May Oko is in our midst. I also wish to recognize all the support Thank you for coming. I now to deliver the message of Mama Dennett. It gives me to all at this age graduate university. As we witness over 1,200 young people graduate and the inauguration of the third chancellor of this university. Congratulations, my brother, Dr. Ruhakana Rubunda, on being appointed of this remarkable institution. Years of selfless service to our nation in different capacities. On behalf of the Minister of Education and Sports Sector, I warmly you to the sector forward to benefit wealth of experience you for accepting this call. Late Professor George Openjuru on his reappointment as Vice Chancellor. I am also grateful to the outgoing Chancellor, Professor Frederick Kayanja, for eight years of dedicated service to Gulu University. We all recognize the remarkable growth witnessed in this university during your term of office and found the University Council that management and staff for their support and commit. Your Excellency, Ulu University is one of the best public universities. It was established after Makerere, Chiambogo, and Barara University. In response, to the government's policy of instituting a public university at the regional level. I am pleased to note that with the coming of peace and stability in this region, Gulu University has achieved an increased access to higher education. 
by among other things, absorbing the numerous learners, emerging from government successful universal primary and secondary education programs. Your Excellency, we thank you. We thank you for your exemplary leadership and foresight in creating this enabling environment for the people of Uganda and the younger generation in particular. The Excellency, higher education is a critical aspect of our education system that involves the transfer of knowledge, skills, and values to provide the goods and services essential for humanity's welfare. I, therefore, call upon the University Council and the management to honor this stewardship of our nation's human resource capital by ensuring the delivery of high quality education to the next generation, thus enabling the country to benefit from this university. I also appeal to all the universities and other tertiary institutions of learning to strengthen, to strengthen their quality assurance systems in order to meet societal expectations and to comply with the requirements of their regulatory body and that is National Council for Higher Education Standards. Concerning all universities part in achieving Uganda's vision of a transformed Ugandan society from a peasant to a modern and prosperous country within 10 years. I appeal to the University Council to consider the role of universities in contributing to individual and societal transformation through education for sustainable development. Therefore, please work towards prioritizing new skills in entrepreneurship, research, and innovation so as to build a student body relevant to societal needs and realities. As Ministry of Education and Sports, we will continue to support the growth of this university as much as possible. The Ministry is now focusing on expanding infrastructure, training of staff, and equipping the university with modern technology, enabling it to train our graduates with the skills required to propel this country to middle income status. To the graduates, today's achievement comes on the backdrop of all the hard work and the great sacrifice you made to get here. This achievement now lays a foundation to build one two. As you look forward to beginning your careers, thus, I urge you to seek God's guidance so as to identify your purpose in life and to determine the values you required to fulfill that purpose. The Bible states in Acts of Apostles, chapter 30, verse 36, and I quote, open the quote, now, when David had served God's purpose in his own generation, 
He fell asleep. He was buried. His ancestors. I close the porch. Just as the word of God talks of how David fulfilled his purpose in his generation, the Lord calls on each one of you to do so in your generation. Your Excellency, indeed, I have always told young people the purpose-driven and value-based life complements the acquisition and application of knowledge. Since a purpose, a sense of purpose is central to productivity and fulfillment. To our dear graduates, once again, please understand that finding your purpose leads you to be more focused and intentionally about leveraging your time and energy so as to become agents of transformation wherever God positions you in life. Today, in each one of you, I see a cohort of graduates prepared to be significant influencers on the national and global stage. In each one of you, I see a generation destined for success. So, go, go ahead, take on this challenge and shape the future with boldness. Your Excellency, Mr. Chancellor, sir, as we celebrate our graduates, I thank and congratulate all the parents, guidance, and sponsors who made a miserable sacrifice to endure their children acquire this knowledge. Today, we equally celebrate their love and commitment. Congratulations to you all. In conclusion, I reiterate our gratitude to the outgoing Chancellor, Professor Frederick Kayanja, for the guidance given to this university during your tenure as Chancellor. I now welcome the new Chancellor, Dr. Ruhakana Mugunda, and wish you God's blessing as you take on the new mantle of leadership at this great university. Your Excellency, we've heard with keen interest from the Vice Chancellor the challenges that the university is facing, especially in terms of capital development. I've taken note of the challenges raised, and I want to pledge that I'll take all these challenges to Mama, the First Lady, and the Minister of Education and Sports, and for the top management at the Ministry for appropriate intervention. Once again, I thank you all. Your Excellency, it's now my duty and singular honor to invite you to address this congregation. May God bless you all. Long live Uganda. Long live Ulo University. Long live General URA Kabuta Museveni. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put hands together to welcome the Vice President as addresses this congregation. I thank you all. Minister of State for Education, Moriku Kaduchu, the Honorable Members of Parliament present, the Chancellor of Bulo University, and the outgoing Chancellor of Bulo University and other chancellors from sister universities present. 
the executive director national council for higher education professor mary opakol the vice chancellor of Wollongong university and other vice chancellors present from sister universities all teaching and non-teaching staff of the yeah, university yeah. religious yeah. leaders yeah. cultural leaders yeah. invited guests yeah. parents and guardians yeah and all our dear guardians yeah. of today what okay. And gentlemen, a chalo mot bod moon wing. Copanco, a boy or teach, a boy or be no president. You were in Buddha seven. Minister of Education, Mama Janet Kataha Museveni, Bene Ochoalo Mot Bod Wunweng Matek. And Mr. Chancellor, sir, with that message. I am sure the congregation is already aware that I am speaking as Metunja. I have been sent here, Mr. Chancellor, sir, to deliver to you a message and indeed the members of the congregation. As a former Minister of Education, I am very privileged to to have been sent here to see my friends who I worked with very well when I was Minister of Education then. But most importantly also to witness the colorful ceremony where hundreds of our own are going to be awarded degrees and diplomas. Without wasting time, Mr. Chancellor, I would like to say one message to the congregation and then I read the message to His Excellency, the President. You are all aware that His Excellency, the President, is in actually sub-region now. But because of the so many meetings aside, we could not find time to come. But the message is that let's fight poverty. The message which basically we are articulating to you is that let's all fight poverty.
Is it working now? Okay. Mr. Chancellor, the message is about the fight against poverty, and I would like to relate it to the members of the congregation in a simple way, and in a way we are already doing in our homes. There are seven activities which we are promoting now, and we encourage all members of the congregation to participate in those activities. One of them is Goko Bueno. Goko Rich. Ki Chamo. One. Opego. Pito Ope. Mad Pad Pad. And here is very conversant with those seven activities because he was one of the leaders who profiled those seven activities and made them part of the NRM manifest. So, Mr. Chancellor, as you are discussing your duties here as a Chancellor, I hope that you will also find time to continue spreading the message of the fight against poverty, but also encourage our people to participate in those seven activities across the Adjuri. Let me now turn the message of His Excellency, the President. I would like to thank Mrs. Obo Teresa Mary, Chairperson, Bulu University Council for inviting me to preside over the installation of the Right Honorable Dr. Duakana Bugunda as the third chancellor of Bulu University. I extend warm congratulations to Comrade Dr. Duakana Bugunda upon your installation as Chancellor of this great institution of higher learning. I wish you success as you provide general oversight over the academic, financial, administrative operations of this university. I trust that you will utilize your vast experience in leadership and management to steer the university to greater heights of excellence. The university is receiving a patriotic public servant with a proven record of excellence, integrity, and hard work. I would like to use this occasion to thank Professor Frederick Kayanja, the outgoing chancellor, for serving the university community with diligence and commitment. I am happy to join the graduates of the year 2020 celebrate successful completion of their academic courses at Gulu University. I congratulate you all upon this important achievement in your academic journey. I commend you for your dedication and effort to reach this milestone. I would like to thank 
leadership of Bulo University, the parents, teaching and non-teaching staff, and students for making the university's 18th graduation ceremony a success. University graduations are always memorable occasions, particularly for those graduating, for their parents, guardians, relatives, and their friends. I thank all those who have worked hard and contributed to the success of this graduate. The graduates who have received the various university awards today are an important addition to the stock of the human resources of the country. Graduation is an important indicator that you are prepared to walk out of the university gates and utilize the acquired skills and knowledge to provide solutions to the challenges in the society. It means that you have received the necessary set of skills and competencies to trigger and drive the social economic transformation of your respective communities. You are university's ambassadors in the society. The university is not an island. It is society which provides the material, financial, and human resources for its operation. The university enrolls students from the population. Its staff and non-teaching staff come from the population. Therefore, the university must be aware of the legitimate goals and interests of society and design a curriculum that is best suited to serve those interests. For instance, you must be aware of the interests of the private sector, which is the biggest employer in the country, as a high demand for doctors, accountants, entrepreneurs, science teachers, nurses, engineers, ICT experts, ETC. This high demand gives a student higher chances of securing a job upon graduation. However, due to the lack of career guidance in schools, fewer students are choosing science and ICT-based courses. This creates a mismatch between the university curriculum and the job market in the private sector. The outcome of the unemployment problem among the young graduates who roam the streets in search of non-existent jobs because they qualified in unmarketable courses. Therefore, I add Gulu University and other higher institutions of learning to prioritize the teaching of courses that are relevant to the demands of the job market in the private sector. The Ugandan economy is modernizing and accelerating towards industrialization. Modernity means eliminating the subsistence modes of production, which satisfy only the need for food and replacing them with commercial agriculture, industries, services, and ICT. These are the four sectors where families and companies can select profitable enterprises to create jobs and wealth. The focus of the NRM government is on the creation of jobs and wealth for the households. We have made commendable progress 
in resolving the bottleneck of the poor infrastructure, which rendered Uganda unattractive for business and investment. The country boasts of enough electricity, good tarmac roads, peace and security, and stability. These are important because they help to lower the cost of doing business in an economy. The prevailing favorable conditions must be translated into jobs and wealth. Therefore, I would like to use this opportunity to encourage the graduates to be at the forefront of mobilizing their families and communities to participate in the production in the four sectors of commercial agriculture, industries, services, and ICT. I would like to emphasize the importance of enterprise selection. And that's why I started mentioning those enterprises with the local language. You should select an enterprise that will yield high returns on investment. Finally, I want once again congratulate Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda upon his assumption to the office of Chancellor of Gulu University. I pray, I pray the university, the almighty God grants the university and, 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 and a stability and grants and good health university community with distinction. I congratulate all the graduates and their families and wish you success in the years ahead. I thank you all. our occasion and now that we have our congregation constituted by the Chancellor and I also understand that we may be taking leave to join the President where he is, we are saying thank you and you are free to come and uh, uh, say bye to us but uh, our graduation will continue. Our graduation will continue, send our greetings to the President and tell him we are okay and we are fine. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Chancellor, sir, at the appropriate time when the visitor will leave, you will say bye to her. But for now, since she's still sitting with us, I would like to invite the Deputy Vice Chancellor. Is it? Hey, no, no. I would like to. Hello? Mr. Ch Mr. Vice Chancellor, you have a task to announce the best performing students for the 18th question. And I call the students to come here. Look, and this year, the Vice Chancellor decided to recognize the best performing male student and female student and recognize them in front of us here. So these are the two best students in the profession, in the education. Fortunately or unfortunately, they are all from one faculty, depending on where you're from. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the best performing students, the best performing male student is Kutri Payas, first class, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. 
he got 4.78 uh, CGPA. The female best student is also from the Faculty of Agriculture from got a Bachelor of Science in Agri Entrepreneurship and Communication Management. She is a Dongo Immaculate first up four point seven four. Congratulations to the best male student. Congratulations. Keep the flag flying. Congratulations. Congratulations to the best female student. Well done. Thank you. Show them to people. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vice Chancellor. and gentlemen, please clap for these best performers. Our best students the Bachelor of Agriculture program and the Bachelor of Agriculture and Information Communication program as well. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I now call upon the deans and directors to present the graduates in their respective faculties the confirmation of the degrees and award of diplomas of Guru University. and institutions that matter in supporting their operations in Uganda. The founder of the Rice Market Actors have the potential of improving their operations if they work in groups, access tailored value chain financing, and approve their functions, processes, products. The Rice uh, Markets. The study was funded by Regional Universities Forum for Capacity Building in Agriculture and supervised by Associate Professor Basil Mugonola and Dr. Apollo Kasharo. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural and Applied Biosciences of Kuru University.
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the student who has satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural and Applied Biosciences of Gulu University, Atube Francis. Atube Francis examined trends in climate variation, its perceived effects on crop productivity, and adaptation studies employed by smallholder farmers in northern Uganda. He found out that smallholder farmers that adopted crop resistant and early maturing crop varieties, improved seeds and planting of different crop types, realized significantly higher yields than those who did not. The study was funded by the Ministry of Education and Sports under the ADBS project and was supervised by Dr. Maxwell Manlinga, uh, Dr. Nyeko Martin, and the Professor Ipolto Okeloma. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural and Applied Biosciences of Guru University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the student who has satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural and Applied Biosciences of Gulu University, Kabasita Juliet Chisa. Kabasita Juliet Chisa investigated the potential of using municipal solid waste compost as an agricultural fertilizer in urban areas of Uganda. She found out that composts have low fertilizing capacity, but have capacity to improve soil structure and organic matter content, and therefore suitable as soil conditioners. The study was funded by Regional Universities Forum for Capacity Building in Agriculture and Transform Apps. It was supervised by Dr. Emmanuel Obatashri Maxwell. Mr. Chancellor, sir, Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you the student who has ratified the requirements for the award of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural and Applied Biosciences of Guru University, Wangola Robert Mandela.
Wangola, Robert Mandela investigated whether a veterinary drug called diaminazine acetorate can limit transmission of PB rodentin, the parasite that causes, uh, that is transmitted by supply and causes By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon you that the Mr. Jansal, uh, I have the honor to present to you the student who has satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Doctor in Philosophy in Agricultural and Applied by Sciences of Good University, Wangola Robert Mandela. Wangola Robert Mandela investigated whether the generic drug called diaminazine acetorate can limit transmission of PB rodentiens, the parasite that is transmitted by cystic fly and causes zoonotic sleeping sickness in humans. He found that, that a single injection of the drug can limit transmission of zoonotic sleeping sickness for one year. The study was funded by the National Institute of Health Research and Tracking Infections to Benefit Africa, and uh, was supervised by Professor Kalistas Welchi Balidawa, Professor Charles Waiswa, and uh, Dr. Wapande Edi Mujiga. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural and Applied Sciences of Guru University. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present to you the student who has satisfied the requirement for the award of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of Gulu University, Nero Alfred. Nero Alfred studied the inventory, phytochemical composition, antioxidant activity in organic nutrients and heavy metal contents of wild edible plants utilized by the Choli communities of northern Uganda. Nyero recorded 73 wild edible plant species from 39 families that are consumed in the Choli sub-region. He further conducted chemical analysis of some 12 commonly consumed leaf wild leafy vegetables 
and found that these wild edible plants contain a wide array of phytochemicals and have substantial free radicals scavenging activities. He also showed that these cello have lower inorganic nutrient content compared to the recommended daily allowance prescribed by the World Health Organization. This element, this uh, pair of leafy vegetables also contain heavy metal lead, but his findings show that the levels cannot pose long-term health risk to the community that consumes them. He concluded that these wild edible plants possess a wide range of active phytochemical compounds and a potential source of antioxidants. Hence, their regular consumption could provide human health benefit by conferring protection against oxidative stress, which contributes to the rampant incident of non communicable diseases. The study was sponsored by Ministry of Education through the ADBS project and was supervised by Dr. Geoffrey Maxwell Malinga, Dr. Godwin Opoke Anyuan, and Dr. Innocent Achaya. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon you, upon him, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of Guru University in absentia. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Public Health of Bulo University. Abe Janet Okelo, Atim Dancer, Mwanyumba Anakleta Sigadi Kifuso. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon I am by virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon those persons whose names have been read the degree of mass of public health. Of Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who are satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Medical Anthropology of Bulu University. Okelo Felix. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon the person whose name has been read the degree of Master of Medical Anthropology of Guru University. Mr. Chancel, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirement for the award of the degree of animal production and, and the marketing of Guru University. Ogwal Anthony. I have asked you to the authority entrusted to me I confer upon the person whose name has been read the degree of Master of Science in Animal Production and Marketing of Guru University. Mm 
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirement for the award of the degree of Master of Science in Agri Enterprises Development of University. Achen Sara, Alela Beatrice, Anguyo and Ronzi Martin, Atukunda Kwesije Obrin, Ayado Ruth, Chef Rui Isaac, Esther Joseph Cheyo, Jo Anjire Allen, Midamba Dick Chune, Mustaf Mohamed Takoi, Denua David Derek Kawanguzi, Unovene Elvi Kaofiwetu, Waibumba Simon Peter. I invite you, over the authority entrusted to me, I confirm upon those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in Agri Enterprises Development of Guru University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Science in Food Security and Community Nutrition of Kul University. Adogra Gloria, Akuku James, Along Sam, Anyati Christine, Asokle Mohaisi Simone, Atibo Christopher, Charlie Judith, the Imbast Zoe Olive, Odongo Kizito, Okelo Bob, Okelo Godfrey Ewol, Owin Emmanuel, and Ogada Mbone Aliet. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science food security and community nutrition of Guru University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the student who has satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Science in Environmental Science and Natural Resources Management of Woody University, Ogwal Lawrence. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confirm upon the person whose name has been read the degree of Master of Science in Environmental Science and Natural Resources Management of Guru University. So, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Arts in Literature and English Linguistics of Guru University. Akao Stella Camilla and Yukiru Kuis. I invite you over the third and first me. I confer I can upon those persons whose names have been read that the group must of arts in literature and in visits of Guru University. I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Education in Educational in Education Management of Guru University. Lakot Grace Atare, Okeno Dennis, and Watsisi Sandra Editor. By virtue of the social entrusted to me, I confirm upon those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Education in Education Management of Guru University. 
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the student who has satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Education, Curriculum Studies and Foundations of Education of Guna University, Ortiz Emmanuel. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Business Administration at the University. Mary, Bonamin Morris, Adair David, Alain Patrick, Lavara Joan, Lucy Joshua, Okara Julius, and Omar Spokane. I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Mass of Arts in Public Administration and Management of Guru University. Ashan Patra, Ajit Paul, Akidi Helen Gross, Blinchach Sayendo Nicholas, Nyero John Bosco, Ochiti Dennis Omoya, Okello Joseph, Oneka Innocent, and Pamal Harriet Romach. Well, I thank you. For the authority and trust to me, I confer upon those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Arts in Public Administration and Management of Guru University. It's a certain sir. I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Science in Applied Tropical and Parasitology of Full University. John Dockers, Quenyo Michael, Alele Moses Sukelo, Angole Michael, Nyeno Francis Omona, Opio Tommy, and Soyeko Rogers. By virtue of the authority and trust to me, I confer upon those persons whose names have been read the degree of Master of Science in Applied Tropical Entomology and Parasitology of Guru University. Mr. Sansa, sir, I have the honor to present to you a student who has satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Science in Information and Communication Technologies for Development of Full University, a whole currently Eve. My virtue will be very interested to me. I confer upon the person whose name has been read the degree of Master of Science in Information and Communication Technologies for Development of Good University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you. 
the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the first graduate diploma in financial management of Google University. Achille Jacqueline Okwa, Achille Ai Nokui, Kiwana Dennis, from a coach Patrick Alike, Nagi De Freda, Ochaka Chong Pao, Ochaya Joe Joe, Ochen John Basco, Ochen Martin, Odong David, Okabo Alan, Olila Isaac, Omola Gerard, Oloj Patrick, Oriam Dennis, Tom Aston, Oluma Diego, and Paco Fred. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the post graduate diploma in procurement and supply chain management of Guru University. I don't know Christine, Agena Kennedy, Amazur Michael, Apil Sulia Catherine, Arina Nam, Arina Moit Sarah, Bonamin Boniface Tunge, Odamonyo Brian, Okelo Anthony, Okelo Oscar, Okin Jimmy, and Otoro Alfred Ojakajara. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been raised in being awarded the postgraduate diploma in the procurement and supply chain management of Uluru University. Mr. Chancellor, sir. I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the postgraduate diploma in public administration and management of Guru University. Abio Scovia, Abujo Sakira, Achilam Boniface James, Alogoya Tigo, Alumai Patrick, Apio Mbali Shila, Arima Florence Medina, Papimpa. Alexandra Black, Kawaka Felix, Kamagate Simon Peter, Lakonyero Geoffrey, Larem Joseph, Latabo Irene, Ochan Robert Okot, Ochiti Solomon, Okene Churchill, Okumu Josephine, Oren Dennis, Anaka Innocent, Orit Dennis Nguedo, Ulala Boni, and Pamela Harriet. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been prayed and being awarded the prospective diploma in public administration and management of Guru University. Dio, the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the postgraduate diploma in education of Gulu University. Amok Pufes, Eneru Silva, Kelama Moses Moroto, Odosh Caesar, Ogwen Jimmy, Okiring Emmanuel, and Watsemba Josephine. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the postgraduate diploma in education of Guru University.
Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the postgraduate diploma in project planning and management of good universities. Achim Harris, Achio Doreen, Achio Hilda Lane, Adoko Rajstan De Atube, Akulu Christine, Amoin Desire, Anena Evelyn, Apio Joyce, Apiano Harriet, Atuhaire Emily, Omar Gladys, Ayo Mili, Elaine Joy, Frida D. Geoffrey, Happy Kenneth, Juko John Fisher, Jokene Franklin, Kemi Fisher John Nandinda, Kirto Kenneth, Bota Moses, Chigozi Joseph, Lama Jimmy Chan, Inyana Ambrose, Komakech Denis Okwat, Komakech Jalal, Ochene Ambrose Oloya, Ochira Tony, Odokonyero Denis, Okini Moses, Okino Nicholas, Omara Tony, Odenchan Boniface, Onyango Henry, Opira Simon, Opio Michael, Okobo Samuel, Dudu Dennis, Godfrey, and Wakaraj Jacob. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the postgraduate diploma in project planning and management of Guru University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the postgraduate diploma in community development of Gul University. Abdul Sarah Odafi, Nsema Farouk, Nozi Stimwin, and Okindi Solomon. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the postgraduate diploma in community development of Guru University. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the postgraduate diploma in human resource management of Gulu University. Abol Monica, Kuna Doris Dorcas, Ojok Jimmy, Oyela Harriet, and Oyikuru Raymond. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the postgraduate diploma in human resource management of Guru University. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the postgraduate diploma in monitoring and evaluation of Guru University. Abola Keith Samuel, Achaye Andrew, Aching Teddy, Achiro Naiti Okot, Adeka Quinto, Cypress, Odompei Winifred, Akesh Margaret, Akelo Bridges, Albanyo Pamela, Olega Samuel Grace, Ea Prokovius, Yandano Jacob, Jang Janet, Chigaya Isaac, Komakech Richard Emi, Kumuchaya Fiona, Lama Ambrose, Mujahid Masur, Odompeyero Innocent, Okelo Dennis Oweka, Okot Robinson, Oling Innocent, Mona Francis Okot, Oneka James, and Onia Tobias. I congratulate all those persons whose names have been read on being awarded the postgraduate diploma in monitoring and evaluation of all university. <laughs> I know 
Mr. Chancellor, sir, allow me to invite the medical graduates to step forward as soon as I read the names. And then we shall proceed with the Hippocratic Oath thereafter. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery of Kulo University. Abe Kevin. Please step forward after your name has been read. Abe Kevin. I see where Marklin. I know Makisha Shannon. Akuma Elvis. Arigasha Gilbert. Asimwe Isaac, Ayela Daniel Okumu, Aiko Habat, Aninawe Banane Wili, Bigogo Habat Charles, Bia Gloria Russian, Yemhangi Ivan, Brandua Patrick, Emetu Joel, Igolit Vicky, Ijo Emmanuel, Kalunji Juma, Kalunji Florence, Kasibanti Morris, Nobat, Nyana Harriet, Ochaya Acholi Emmanuel, Odonkara Moses, Okelo Benjamin, Okelo Godwin, Okelo John Paul, Okile Arthur, Okuru Michael, Olal Ivan Fabio, Olwain Dennis Otiga, Onia Livingston Solomon, Opio Innocent, Opio Tony, Oriem Silas, Washroom Lawrence Nolex, Pole Sirazi, Second C. Benham, Sekemba uh, Henry, Sempuja Sadiq, Senini Eric, Taremma Ronald, Tokema Nelson, Tomek Kwatsi, Eric, Tumesige Benjamin, Wangalwa Paul, Warum Eric and Ziwa Wilson. We now invite You follow the dean as you make the physician place for the exotic cross oath. As a member of the medical profession, 
I solely pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. I respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit considerations of age, disease or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me, even after the patient has died. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity and in accordance with good medical practice. I will foster the honor and noble traditions of the medical profession. I will give to my teachers, colleagues and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I, sh I will share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the patient and the advancement of health care. I will attend to my own health, well-being and abilities in order to provide care of the utmost of the highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon those persons whose names have been read that the group of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery of Guru University. The Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award degree of Bachelor of Information Technology, Business Computing at Queen University. I wrote Daniel Komboni. Lion Ojuk and Wangoi Abramo. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon those persons whose names have been read that the Bureau of Battle of Information and Technology business computing of Guru University. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Computer Science of Bull University. A few sincere Cecilia, a 
Tutora Lydia, David Paul Eliza, Imagor Josephine, Francine Kenneth, Kiza Trevor, with the first class, Papa Andrew, Don Eugene, Kate Edward, Lord Clinton Don, Kiyo Daniel, Kiyo Corey Jonathan, Kim John Powell, Sebata Dennis, and Wafu Yogo Ivan. By virtue of the certain person, I confirm from those persons whose names have been read by the group Bachelor of Science, the Computer Science of Guru University. <coughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Information and Communication Technology of Kuru University. Acha Priscilla, Adaniela Sandra, Again Award Rema, Agwao Teddy, Example Rebecca, Akelo Fatima Ibrahim, Akot Vivian, Akwi Sarafina, Alomo Tom, Amitu Maureen Yunis, and Debo Samuel, Apio Caroline, Asime Wilbur, Aye Miriam Florence, Betungura Gebasio, Dirungi Vesige Dorin, Diwari Miriam, Gere Silvio, Isungoma Peter, Kalungi Abdul Malik, Port Kawaya Brian, Kibriges Samuel, Pomaket Dennis Jackson, Pomaket Moses, Shamugi Surface, Shakua Penina, Pomuiza Winnie, Muganga Gerald Joseph, Muhangi Tuaesi, Nalanga Maria, Uchain Derek, Uchain Jerome, Uduori Alex, Ogren Rob Julius Caesar, Okelo Collins Lamb, Colimon Joel, Okori Solomon Okelo, Okwee Edmond, Onehalit Geoffrey, Orishawa Jocelyn, Orama Geoffrey, and Oyela Davia Julia. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Agriculture of Kulu University. Akena Innocent Job, Akelo Stella Josephine, Alum Sandra, Lumega Stephen, Saul Benjamin, Yako Joe Brian, Yeko Richard, Okelo John, Adrago Joshua, and Okelo Tony. By virtue of the authority and trust to me, I confirm upon those persons whose names have been read that the group Bachelor of Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Agriculture of Kuru University. A basic trailer. Ainamali Weekly, Akelo Claire, Akena Simon Oloya, Akera Geoffrey, Alioparo Sandra Olega, Ali Mundu Julius, Arini Twe Kenneth, Asimwe Mary Kureti, Atim Prabapra, Begunda Rachel Shumtai Sherry, Chef Quech Leah, 
Chero Ferry, Chero Ton Nasta, Dungo Abdul Malik, Edapo Dennis, Ewayu Alex, Itadal Robert, Jala Arafat, Jumba Henry, Kajimu Lawrence Kibirige, Kagoda Ivan Geoffrey, Katwesime Collins, Kauma Derek, Bazira Patrick, Nalwada Dokas, Nalia Lipis, Namanya Blea, Namuburo Carol Christine, Namu Yomba Kevin, Nkangwe Albert Pine, Ochen Julius Ochaka Ronald, Ochira Isaac Lacogne, Odiman Solomon, Odong Simon, Ojok Brian, Omweji Dennis, Opio Brian, Opio Edimon, Opuil Fayas, and Waran Richard. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon those persons whose names have been read the degree of Bachelor of Science in Agriculture of Guru University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biosystems Engineering of Good University. Kekala, Kakala Mesak, Lochen Samuel, Lokunyon Jonah, Balina Kenneth, Mugaga Moses, Nakawoya Justin, Nakiren Bekaja Esther, Nampija Gloria, Odonkara James, Okelo Atube Felix, Otwili James, and the Tembo Boaz. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confer upon those persons whose names have been read and the Bachelor of Science in the Biosystem Engineering of Kuhn University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Food and Agribusiness of Bull University. Achei Anna Grace, Akankunda Joan Jonah, Katabong Jetfood, Ayiri Joshua Bayakebe, Jorua Richards, Kadoma Jovia, Katsime Sara, Kwadu Ivan, Lochiyo Patrick Lutz, Mazimaku Nancy, Akelo, Okelo Emmanuel Deo, Oriem Nome, Juliet, Rosmio Howell, and Modi. I advise you of the third process to me. I confer upon those persons whose names have been read that the group Bachelor of Science in Food and Agribusiness of Good University. Mr. Chancellor, sir. I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Agri Entrepreneurship and Communication Management of Good University. Abu Lydia Agor Diven, Adon, Adomo Immaculate, Ajok Scovia, Akena Francis Aku Fizigwe Moses, Baliazima Christopher. Barak Samuel, Biencha Rachel, Chaya Gloria, Kodusinge Rachel, Kumakech Steven, Latwa Jacob, Rubana Kene Oscar, Mafabi Moses, Molio Ross, Nokraj Isaac, Odokoraj, Obaloke Brian, Odoj Emi, Odong Kene, Odong Louis Oscar Obira, Odonkara Robert, Okelo Sande, Oloya Innocent, Onem Bona, Othiano Rogers, Rodomio Isaac, and 
Vika Safari. My virtue of the approach and pass it to me. I confirm all those persons whose names have been read that the true virtue of science will not bring to worship and the communication to the people of the Holy Spirit. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor's of Laws of Good University. Abel Mas Abe, Abel Giovanna, Achan Janet, Achen Fiona Olulun, Achen Victoria Brandy, Achip William, Achom Pena, Adoch Mas Brenda, Adupa Emmanuel, Adiel Anna Janet, Ajok Nasi, Akecho Sharon, Akecho Topista Albuson, Akelo Shelly Marilyn, Akelo Veronica, Akena Francis, Akum Beatrice, Akwale Diana Musabi, Alum Sandra Jessica, Amito Nas Immaculate, Amoro Arthur Isa, Anena Nasi, Ange Ivan, Angwich Nas Odong, Apio Brenda, Awemurat Stella Obalima, Ariem Florence, Ariem Priska, Atumango Hosi, Ato Sarah, Auma Delish, Ekit Papa, Elim Michael Leo, Elito Juliet, Kaka Marcos Robinson, Kaligere Patrish, Komakech Gerard Walik, Usemerewa Marion, Charisima Patricia, Lake Desire Judith, Lake Diana Campas, Lake Rebecca Mary, Lamaro Prisla, Lake Thomas Awan, Lokun Jacqueline, Leta Lucky, Monmas Vincent, Musikle Moses, Nabong Stano, Nantono Patra, Nanda Diana, Nwaz Christine, Ochan Fiona, Ogole Daniel Oscar, Okelo Anthony, Onen Joffrey, Onenchan Moses, Opio Kenneth, Opio Felix Tabia, Otori Henry Lugard, Oro Cyrus, Oyala Dorin Jena, Olom Justin Stephen, Pinyoroya Mayo Fulmina, Rot Omara Jelen Sande, Yatua Damal Dafin, Nasa Sura Denis, Okrex Ezra Bayat, Lagu Alex Wilson, Tukamuhewa Godwin, and the nine young of us. By virtue of the authority and trust it to me, I confirm all those persons whose names have been read by the degree of Bachelor of Laws of Guru University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of degree of Bachelor of Science in Public Health of Gulu University. Kato Mike, Wanguzi Newton Nicholas, and Otoban Justin. By virtue of the authority entrusted to me, I confirm all those persons whose names have been read 
and improve Bachelor of Science in Public Health of Guru University. I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Science Education Biological of Guru University. Akela Walter Kidega, Arinda Rogers, Asobasi Leonard, Iwana Christian, Yuringiro Arieli, Epiano Julius, Eko Kupretevik, Elitro Donato, Katongo Dennis, Kidabire Adam, Kitio Isaac, Komakaj David, Kwemoy Daniel, Mamaro Gloria, Laki Ahmad, Magal Benot Ojamugwe, Maganda Baluhan, Moyambi Gaspari, Wesi Gwa Kennedy, Nabayego Shakira, Nankwagi Rose, Namondo Agre, Nanyonja Helen, Gumize Hassan, Nyakojo Ezra, Obong Stephen, Ochaya Dominic, Oshom Emmanuel, Odono Emmanuel, Odiek Norman, Ojok Isaac Newton, Othello Ivan, Othello Leon, Othello Charles Okun, Orishaba Joan, and Wataka Derek Innocent. By virtue of the reception process to me, I confirm all those persons whose names have been read and have been read by the Muslims. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Hello, uh, my dear parents, I remember we warned you that as names are being read, to try and minimize movement or what I call unnecessary movement. So let us maintain our seats. When your names are read, stand up where you are. We shall recognize you when you stand up where you are. But don't just jump in before the world of people. Some of those who are coming, please let us maintain the serenity of our country. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir. Uh, uh, the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the Degree of Bachelor of Science Education Physical of Bruno University. Uh, Akela David Ojok, Okiri Julio Oto, Amata Kumozes, Ankunda Nelson, Anyindi Simon Vule. Aol Wilfred, Asabila Rebecca, Asimwe Christine, Ayera Emi, Baguma Emmanuel, Brombo Lydia, Shabat Ivan, Sherub Enoch, Ebamu Andrew, Kasala Edrin, Katugume Jobia, Kavoma Leonard, Chigude Enos, Lake Naiti, Lamado Stephen, Lothian Basil, Lubaga Ronald, Lule John Paul Kelly, Makomba Lawrence, Mazila Mark, 
Dennis Mugera Shalifu Muindo Jimmy Mukolafu Linus Mulinzi Kenneth Murungi Norman Crimon Musimo Vincenzo Mwanga Dennis Naka wa Victor Naka Shwaretisha Na Mugera Irene Mwambi Abdulkarim Oshaka Godfrey Odell Martin Ogwai Daniel Ojok William Ojo Samuel Okolo Benjamin Okolo Leo Okenyi Daniel Okoworo Emmanuel Okwi Erasmus Abraham Omolole John Moses Omon Ronald Okedun Ben Osenduru Quinto Otote Richard Owashki Fred Oyeti Dennis Dikadiwa Geoffrey and Zinsigatwa Banabakinto. I back you all with the authority entrusted to me. I confirm all those persons whose names have been read that the group Bachelor of Science, Education, Physical, and Guru University. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Quantitative Economics of the University. Good evening, a very rich guitar, a child master, a young, a very rich Harriet Boyo, a character of Boyo, a mother Deborah, a man of Gladys, a man of Teddy, a team of Russia, a team of Russia, a man of Russia, a man of Russia, a man of Russia, a man of Chandra Kenneth, Kamakesh Sulenda, Mutaya Marvin, Bumbu Feni Morris, Mutasi Brenda Gloria, Mzachi Ruth Mary, Makraj Morris, Ochen Jimmy, Ogol Michael, Okolo Dennis, Okolo Douglas Jerome, Okolo Brian, Okolo Ivan, Okolo Benjamin, Okolo Edison Ojana, Kana Emmanuel, Uba Uba Tor Bright, Central Gold Sheriff, and Kovac Emmanuel. I pass you over the search and trust of the name. I confirm all those persons whose names have been read that we will match our participating in the next satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Science and Economics of Guru University. Ochoak Ivan and Gabriel Orin. I want to be a third impressive to me. I have a And to you, the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Science, Education, and Economics of Guru University. Abdallah Evelyn, Ankapuru Rakuma, 
Abiy Jennifer, Asiku Mande, Ron Daniel, Katumba Timothy, Luimbo Stephen, Musumba Frank, Nagai Speciosa, Namara Resho, Nana Wa Irene, Oshalo Raymond, Odakonyara Shannon, Odong Geoffrey, Okema Joshua Rodney, Omuka Emmanuel, Onenchan Daniel, Oruk Michael, and Mohaire Jen Rose. By virtue of the certain process here, I confirm all those persons whose names have been waived and group Bachelor of Science, Education, Economics, and Mulu University. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of the degree of Bachelor of Science, Education, Sport, and Exercise Science of Guru University. Sherotish Ambrose, Jackie Sir Innocent Onenshan, Kidega Kenneth, Komakesh Francis Dominic, Mute Bire Bruno, and Owakuba Rio. Anslav. By virtue of the third gen passage to me, I confer upon those persons who have been of the science, education, agriculture,
I have the honor to present to you the students who have satisfied the requirements for the award for the degree of Bachelor of Business Education of Guru University. Ashok Juliet, Ashok Pinda, Ajok Anapio, Aka Habat, Akelo Adonolili, Akelo Stella, Amayo Brenda Masi, Amayo Prisella, Amayo Mata, Okay, so Christopher, 
Okay, there we go. Okay, Moses. Hola, my Jennifer. Hola, Kenneth. A bear Monica Frida, a bear Sharon Abraham, a child Lydia, a child Nancy, a child a A woman is a woman. The woman is Safina. Come and you, Margaret. Carissa Lunat. Camusa Julius. Idaga Jerome. The Sima Frederick Makuru. The Sima Sharon. Gloria. Jessica. The character of Nastasia. Mama and Lucky Lydia Oriem, the Borastella La Wino, the Nero Indian Patra, the Wino Fiona, the Queen Jonathan La Bono.
Make sure that you follow where that corporate directs you to VLP at the multifunctional, I mean, at the agriculture planning here. The and there are those who are going for lunch at the Pernal Hotel. That you can have lunch with us. We will make it for lunch. After the lunch, we will have the item.
Mr. Chancellor, your procession with the academic staff following you. The child, there's a child who has been abandoned here. Child here. It's coming. Take them out. Thank you. 